as you are seeing more clearly who you are, and why you are here as a newly awakened ascended master, then you are accepting that it takes serious dedication to heighten this awareness of your true self. When you incarnate in a planet that has overlords as the Cabal, who have been purposely keeping humanity enslaved, and misleading them for many eons, then you have a focus of being able to know that you came here for a state of emergency. Emergencies that you are seeing beyond all doubt is in the ability for you to rise into your conscious self, to expose the plans of the Cabal, and to speak your truth, no matter how many humans, star seeds, and light workers say with ego, you are wasting your breath, the human race are done for, they are screwed. No, this is a choice each soul makes, as you notice those spreading hate are holding on to the ego as who they are, they are not aware of why they are here, so practice the conditioning of dark magic, from their training on a cabal ruled world. It takes an awareness in being able to know that these messages are light magic, as they have decoded energy, similar to how crystals are formed, and encoded with information from source. Those that try and use logical 3D mind in these higher dimensional messages will continue to say with ego, didn't you promise that you would take away our worries, share technology, we see you run off and disappear in the sky? Your own realization of such a delicate process is taking you into the realization that you will receive help. Just not how the 3D mind sees, as this is where the distorted nature of help is in taking away each soul's free will. To land in our starships, and to embody 3D existence is to violate the universal laws of being your guardians, meaning those preparing for such a shift are ascending more into our reality, of who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians, respectfully. The ego asks, how long will you be? I can't take it on this crazy planet, as from focusing on such thought patterns, it is easy to notice that you are not living in the moment, and you are holding on to judgments, while if you are such souls, then you have much more work needed on yourself. That kind of help is up to you, as if you choose to stay holding on to the ego, it is pointless to continue listening to such messages as they will make no sense to you, and only make sense to those awakening more into their true self. These messages take much focus to give to you, and you notice, they come with no price tag, as they are in truth, priceless, as money is a 3D experience, still in duality, as who we are as your galactic family already exist beyond it. There are those scientists on your world asking, how do they get all of the money to buy all of those ships? Our starships are bought nowhere, as they are freely given, and shared among who we are as one galactic family, which is the future of those of you evolving beyond duality now. Those unready to evolve beyond duality are simply setting themselves up for more planets of fear, and many of you as awakened star seeds and light workers notice this clearly that most of humanity are choosing an insane path to take on. Karma is a ruthless reality, in which back-to-back -back lives in reincarnation is the norm for such souls, as there are great energy vortexes opening upon this world now, to sweep all souls holding on to the ego. If you feel this is a mistake, meaning that these are a bunch of lies, you are unaware of the danger your world is currently in, which without our help of who we are of the angelic realms, of the Galactic Federation of Light, your planet would already be destroyed. Your world governments are controlled by the descendants of the Anunnaki, meaning they embody human bodies, and carry out dark magic work, spreading mind technology control, with thought patterns on this planet, saying, I hate life, I hate you, I will kill this, you killed that, you are not special, as these are noticeable among how most humans talk on this world now. This will shock many of you star seeds and light workers who felt this was normal. No, as when you are doing dark work, you spread hate, and you do it similar to wildfires, as the Cabal have, and will continue to do until their complete removal. It is not just a few souls that will be removed, but many billions, as the ego mind says, what the hell? 
Why would a billion souls be removed? They aren't doing anything wrong. I don't believe what you are saying. You sound like the cabal, or whatever you call them. Sorry. In being from the future, then you have the clear vision of what is happening, and what will happen to your world, that the 3D mind will never understand, as it is beyond the 3D experience of life, it is in the fifth dimensions, and beyond. The earth is rising into a paradise, in a quick time, this is the new age in consciousness, this is the new earth, those choosing to exist in hate are going away from this paradise. This is scientifically recorded in the record-breaking earthquakes, solar activity on your sector in this universe, on the world, all around the ring of fire, speeding up the cycle of a new era in evolution. That is why your planet needs help, it would have already destroyed all of humanity by now if not for our starships slowing down the process, and monitoring key points on the grid energy system of this dimension. This is why it is a serious time, there are serious physical transitions happening, where you are able to notice that you have come here to experience a new shifting in consciousness from the dark ages of fear. When a planet is run by fear, then fear becomes the norm, war becomes the norm, insanity becomes the norm, and the shattering of this reality is with your awakening into your true self. In embodying your true self more than you are able to feel a new feeling of unconditional love, and this is of no ego focus, as you notice, you start to talk more in a loving way, you stop using harmful words, you stop following the crowd. The human condition of fear is tied in with fear, meaning when you are taught, follow this, it takes away from the divine sovereignty to be a leader, you are never born to follow as being already here on this planet for many thousands of years. You are the best of the best in this universe, here to lead the masses, not to follow the masses of humanity, in fear, in confusion, as to do this is to fail your mission in why you came here to be a leader. It is no time to shut down on your mission for our galactic community, and to do so is to slow down the evolution of your own consciousness. As this is why you have such guidance now, as in times of panic, and chaos, there is peacefulness within here. Through the wars, and non-stop bombing, shootings, stabbings on this world, it is coming to an end, with the rise in frequencies, to rid the planet of the harmful, and unloving souls, meaning souls unwilling to be unconditionally loving. With choices. You have the ability to choose hate forever, but it comes with reincarnations of fear forever, or to choose unconditional love, in which you have a divine unity, and exist beyond physical death, as naturally being a divine being of light. The serious decision is in your hands now, we stand with you in complete grace, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.